Hey guys and welcome to Slash Rex Games. So today I'm going to be showing you something really simple. I'm going to keep it as quick and informative as possible. And that's how you can create a full screen toggle in your game world. So maybe you have a main menu and you've got a little checkbox. The user can use it to click in and out of the action. So maybe they want to multitask a bit. It doesn't matter. It depends on what they want to do. Let's give them that option. Now if we go down here to Options Windows and then to Graphics. We can actually start the game in full screen. But this obviously doesn't allow the user to switch out of that at any point in time. This is just a default setting. If we tick this, then if we don't give them an option, they can't get out of full screen unless allow full screen switching is selected also, which lets them press, I think the key is F4, to switch in and out of full screen mode if it is started in full screen. So in this case, I'm going to start in full screen and then we're going to go ahead and implement our checkbox. I'm going to leave this allow full screen switching to be unchecked. Let's make sure that the user can only do so within the main menu. We want them to kind of explore the game, explore some of the settings, and maybe they'll find something else that they like. So it's nice to see if we can direct them to that setting screen. Okay, so here's my checkbox. It is quite simple. If you want to find out more about how I put the checkbox together, check out my checkbox tutorial here. Otherwise, let's keep going. And then I've got a little label that says full screen. <laughs> it's going to appear, I'm going to say on the right hand side, just to show the user what this is all about. Okay, so in object, I'm going to create an object. I'm going to call this one OBJ label. And it's simply just going to have the label. Nothing fancy. That one's done. Next one, object. Let's call this one checkbox. And we're going to give it the checkbox sprite. Okay, so now that we've got the sprite set, I need to go ahead and create a create event over here. And I need to set the image speed to zero because we don't want it flickering between the two. I also want to get the checked variable and we can use window get full screen on this. Okay, so our checked variable is going to be the true or false of the window get full screen. Now that we have the initial checked value, I need to actually set the initial sub image. So if it is full screen, we need, a, we need to be image index one. If it's not full screen, we need to be image index zero. So here I'm going to say if checked then image index equals one, else image index equals zero. Cool, so that'll set up that to make sure that it has the initial checked or unchecked look. Now let's go ahead and handle a left pressed event. In here, I'm gonna take the image index and I'm gonna plus it by one, so let's increment that. I'm going to set checked equal to the opposite of itself. So if it was true, it's false, it's false, it's true. And then here, I'm gonna say window set full screen. So it's the opposite of the get. And I'm going to put this checked variable right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and save everything. Let's go to our room. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, so let's drag in our object. So we've got our label. There we've got our checkbox. Um, let's put it somewhere around here. That should be good. Just like that. So you can picture the scene. You've got main menu, you've got keyboard select over here, maybe on the left. You've got full screen, you've got graphics setting, quality, difficulty perhaps, resolutions, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Now, obviously, this full screen button will set it to whatever the resolution is of your camera or view. In this case, I've got no cameras or views, I've just got a room of 192 by 1080, so it should be scaled nicely. But what you should do is just make sure that your view or your camera that you are creating is a good aspect ratio in accordance to the user's preferred monitor. Okay, so let's save and see what happens. Okay, so because we've started in full screen, you can see that it is checked, which means our create event is aces. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And if I untick this, it's now going to go into Windows mode. It should still be at 192 by 1080, so I'm bored to see it, but there we go. So there it is not in full screen mode, and if I click this, it's back to being full screen, just like that. So, simple as that, you can add full screen to your settings menu. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it both educational and helpful. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you're looking to add a unique game setting to your room, please let me know and maybe I can help you make that happen. I really do enjoy putting these little components together, checkboxes, drop downs, and whatnot. If you like this video as well as many of my other videos, please check out my Patreon campaign. I really do appreciate your support. Project files for this video are in the description. So, until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then. Thank you.